I started as a, sh um, a showrunner's assistant. Uh, that was sort of my way in, and I was lucky enough to work for Alan Ball on True Blood, and uh, he was wonderfully generous with his process, so I got to learn from him, and then from there I got to spend some time in the writer's room, but I would definitely recommend just get on a show anywhere you can. Get a job as an office PA, get a job as a showrunner's assistant, or, a, you know, or a, a, pro probably not on set, because that's a really different world but if you can get anywhere in the office you can make friends with the writers you can get to know them you can learn about the process maybe spend a day in the writers room and uh, that that's how it worked for me I mean I spent some time in there and I got very close to one of the writers on the show and she became my mentor and gave me my first job so that was my uh, that was my way in and I think in terms of what to expect on the first day maybe listen listen on your first day and then talk on your second day or third day. <laughs> I was a producer assistant, a showrunner's assistant, a writer's assistant. I went the different tracks in order to get into the writer's room. And I got hired as the writer's assistant by someone who had been a professor of mine in college, and that was Matt Weiner. Um, but he hired me because I was a showrunner's assistant at the time, because he was impressed that I was going after writing. And that's how I wound up there. And he promoted me, promoted me to writer on that show. So I do think getting into a uh, writer's office anywhere in there, writer's PA, showrunner's assistant, writer's assistant, script coordinator, is a is a really great route because all of the routes seem so um, uh, intangible. Uh, 